Hi, I'm Joelle, and I'm going to show you a few helpful hints on how to use the compound microscope. These pointers will help you use the microscope successfully. Before we begin, there are a few things to take notice of on your microscope. First, you want to make sure that the condenser knob is turned all the way up. Be sure not to confuse this knob with the focus knobs. You want to make sure that your fine focus is in mid-range. You can do this by lining up the white line with the edge of the coarse focus. Next, you want to make sure that your oculars are even. You can do this by setting your right ocular at 64 and your left ocular at 64. Next, you're going to make sure that your blue filter is in place. Lastly, you want to make sure that the 4x objective is in place. Now we are ready to turn on the microscope and begin. Turn on your microscope and raise the rheostat all the way to 10. Now we are ready to put the slide on the stage. For this demonstration, we're going to be using the cross-section of a human artery. Make sure that your slide is not full of fingerprints. If it is, you're going to take a Kim wipe and clean it off. Pull the stage clip open. Place the slide on the stage so that it fits into the corner of the slide holder. Release the stage clip so that the slide is held securely. You can then move the slide using the XY controls. Next, we're going to move the slide so that the specimen is centered in the path of light coming through the microscope. Open the iris and move your XY controls so that the specimen is centered in the light beam. Close the iris again so that when you look through the oculars, you do not blind yourself. Before looking through the oculars, you want to raise your stage all the way up. You would do this by turning the coarse focus knob away from you. You'll notice that the stage stops moving, but the coarse focus knob continues to turn. You are now ready to view the specimen through the oculars. You need to fit the oculars to your face, and you can do this by moving them in and out. This is difficult and may take some practice, so you may want to start by setting them at the 64 mark. As you adjust the oculars, you may see some funny effects. If your eyes are too close or too far away, you may see some circles jumping around. Keeping your eyes approximately three quarters of an inch away from the oculars works best. Just think of it as looking into the distance into a pair of binoculars. Now, slowly move the coarse focus towards you until the specimen pops into view. You will also use your fine focus to sharpen the image. Once you have done this, you can use your XY controls to move the specimen around. What you see here is the cross section of the human artery. The empty center is where the blood would flow. The pink section is the smooth muscle and the purple strands are elastin. These are the effects of using the coarse focus, fine focus, and XY controls. There is one important thing that you must do before going to the next objective. You must place a desired part of the specimen in the center of your field of view. We can now move to the 10X objective. In order to see the specimen clearly, you may need to increase the light by opening the iris, and using the fine focus to get a sharper image. Our next step is to view the specimen under 40x. Once again, you may need to make adjustments with the light by opening the iris 
and using the find focus to get a sharper image. Going to the highest objective, also known as oil immersion, takes a few more steps. You don't need to use oil immersion with every specimen that you view, but we will go through it together. To place a drop of oil on the slide, you're going to move the objectives so that the specimen is centered between the 100 and 40x objective. You can then place one drop of oil right over the specimen. We can now turn to our oil immersion lens. You may want to adjust the light and find focus as done previously. After viewing the specimen, you're going to want to properly clean the lens and the slide. To clean the slide, you must lower your stage and remove the slide. Then you will clean it with a Kim wipe. To clean your objective, you're going to turn the objective so it's facing out and clean it with a piece of lens paper. You have now learned how to use the compound microscope properly and successfully. It's now time to shut down the microscope, but before doing so, there are a few things you need to